Hi guys! Welcome to my YouTube channel. So before we get started make sure to hit the like button also subscribe to my channel. In this video, we will talk about Best Indoor Plants to Get Rid of Toxins and Chemicals. So make sure to watch the full video. In a much quoted study, NASA scientists found common indoor plants to be surprisingly useful in absorbing potentially harmful gases and cleaning the air inside homes, indoor public spaces and office buildings. The indoor pollutants that affect health are formaldehyde, volatile organic compounds, benzene and trichloroethylene or TCE, airborne biological pollutants, carbon monoxide and nitrogen oxides, pesticides and disinfectants, phenols and radon. These pollutants contribute to sick building syndrome, which causes symptoms ranging from allergies, headaches and fatigue through to nervous system disorders, cancer and death. 1. Areca Palm Chrysalidocarpus lutescens. In tests conducted by Dr. Wolverton, the areca palm removed more toluene and silane than any other plant. Toluene is one of the notorious toxic trio that also includes formaldehyde and dibutyl phthalate, known to be hazardous to human health. It's most commonly found in paint thinners, nail polish remover, glues, and correction fluid. Xylene is used as a solvent in the printing, rubber, and leather industries. These chemicals make their way into our homes and offices, and their long-term cumulative impacts are unknown. Extremely effective at removing toxins from indoor air, the areca palm also emits large amounts of water vapor, a boon in locations with dry air. It's tolerant of most indoor environments, though prefers a humid area to avoid tip damage. If the tips of your plant go brown, this usually indicates your air is too dry. Also called the butterfly palm, this upright houseplant is somewhat vase-shaped with delicate, fast-growing fronds. Specimen plants can reach 10 to 12 foot in height. When selecting an areca palm, look for plants with larger trumps at the base of the plant. Plants that have pencil-thin stems tend to topple over and are quite difficult to maintain. Ensure your plant has a good, loam-based potting soil and fertilize on a regular basis, except in winter. Water enough to keep the root ball damp and mist regularly to deter insects and to keep your plant looking fresh. 2. Lady Palm, Rapis Excelsa The rapis are some of the easiest palms to grow, but each species has its own particular environment and culture requirements. The lady palm is a durable palm species that adapts well to most interiors, preferring semi-sunlight and a temperature of 60 to 70 F, 16 to 21 C. While the plant grows slowly, it can eventually reach more than 14 feet in height with broad clumps often having a diameter as wide as they are tall. In general, the plant is very resistant to insect infestations. Though occasionally spider mites will attack a lady palm, these can usually be removed with soapy water if caught soon enough. Other things to watch for include a location that's too dry. This will cause the tips of the fronds to turn brown and dry out. To care for your lady palm, Water generously in spring and summer, increasing the volume in winter if your plant is located in a warm, dry environment. Feed monthly with liquid fertilizer and enjoy the plant's glossy leaves on graceful, arching stems. 3. Bamboo Palm, Chamadoria Seafrizi The bamboo palm is another plant that scored very high in its ability to remove formaldehyde from the air. This plant also effectively removed benzene, an ingredient used to make dyes, lubricants, rubbers and detergents, and trichloroethylene, an industrial solvent. Its lacy green fans form on clusters of slender canes add humidity to any room, along with a tropical feeling. Also called the reed palm, the bamboo palm prefers bright indirect light and a temperature of 60 to 70 F, 16 to 24 C. A southeast window in a moderately warm room is the perfect location. New plants will lose of some interior foliage as they acclimate to indoor settings, but this is normal. Remove dead fronds, but don't pinch out the tip of new stalks because this will slow or eliminate new growth. In terms of a growing medium, bamboo palms prefer a little sand added to their soil mix. 4. Rubber Plant, Ficus Robusta the rubber plant is especially effective at removing formaldehyde from indoor air. A favorite since the Victorian era, the plant grows very well inside and tolerates temperatures as low as 40 F 5 C for short periods. Its ideal temperature range is 60 to 80 F 16 to 27 C. While rubber plants prefer semi-sunlight to semi-shade, they will tolerate dim lighting, making them extremely easy to situate. 
Avoid direct sunlight, however, especially in summer. In dry, centrally heated rooms, watch for scale insects, spider mites, and thrips. Growing to a height of 8 feet with a spread of up to 5 feet, rubber plants may also need to be supported by a stake. Wear gloves when pruning, since the milky sap may irritate the skin. 5. Dracana Janet Craig, Dracana Derminsis. Rated as one of the best plants for removing trichlorothalene from the air, the Dracana is also one of the easiest houseplants to grow. The mature plant reaches 10 feet in height with a spread of 3 feet and can live for decades if properly maintained. These plants do best in indirect sunlight coming from the east slash west or semi-shade. They can adapt to lower light levels if the watering is reduced. Keep the soil evenly moist and never let the plant get soggy. In the same way, avoid letting the root ball dry out completely. Water less frequently in the winter months. Mist frequently with warm water, removing any dead leaves. Leaf tips will go brown if the plant is under. Watered but this browning may be trimmed. If possible, avoid fluoridated water since these plants can be sensitive to fluoride. 6. Dwarf Date Palm, Phoenix Robolini. Scoring very high for its ability to remove airborne chemicals, the dwarf date palm is especially effective at ridding the air of silene, a common solvent ingredient. The plant is well suited to controlled temperature environments in offices and homes and will survive for decades if situated optimally. Place in semi-sunlight free from drafts with temperatures between 60 to 75 F, 16 to 24 C. Provide adequate space since this plant, although slow growing, will reach heights of 8 to 10 feet. But one caution, the dwarf date palm should not be placed near children's play areas because it has sharp, needle-like spines arranged near the base of the leaf stem. These can easily penetrate skin and even protective clothing. 7. Ficus ailey, Ficus mechlelandi ali. The Ficus ailey is effective at removing chemical vapors from the air and grows easily indoors, resisting most insects. It prefers a humid environment and full or semi-sunlight, though it will tolerate lower light conditions. Its ideal temperature range is between 65 F and 85 F, 16 to 24 C. The ficus alii should not be placed near heating or air conditioning vents or near drafts because this could cause leaf loss. Soil should be kept moist but allowed to dry out between watering. If your plant's leaves turn yellow, this may indicate overwatering. 8. Boston Fern In the studies conducted by Dr. Wolverton, the Boston Fern ranked the highest out of all plants tested in its ability to remove formaldehyde from the air. Since formaldehyde appears in everything from plastic garbage bags to paper towels, facial tissues, floor coverings and adhesives, and gas stoves and tobacco smoking also release this chemical, the Boston Fern is a smart addition to any household or office. The Boston Fern grows to 4 feet in height with a spread of up to 5 feet. It has feathery ferns which are best displayed as a hanging plant or in a pot placed on a pedestal. It prefers a cool environment bright but indirect sunlight, and regular attention. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe to our channel before you go.